What's up, everybody? How y'all doing on this fine Tuesday afternoon? Old rooster man sitting out here, uh, doing some research, looking at upcoming schedules of some football teams, seeing what's going on, checking out stories, and uh, man, I got to do a rooster rant. And I didn't have a rooster rant planned for today. I was trying not to do one, but I'm gonna have to put one out, and, and I'm gonna say this. My rant today's on Sports Illustrated and this fan nation and this I was looking at the way too early 20 23 quarterback rankings on damn Sports Illustrated. And I don't know who the hell writes for them or who comes up with this bullshit. But it, yeah, they are disrespecting Spencer Rattler. To the point that if I were Spencer Rattler, I, I'm I'm pissed right at this moment. And uh I'm going to go through this list with you guys, and you tell me what y'all think. This is the kind of stuff right here that just, like, I understand Rattler wasn't, like, a world beater last year. But this list they've come up with, I mean, they don't even have a damn quarterback's name for certain teams. They don't even know who the quarterback's going to be. And they have these guys ahead of damn Spencer Rattler. And their numbers at the, at the end of the year, when you don't even know who your quarterback's going to be, you're picking a quarterback and you don't even know who the hell it is. You ain't seen this guy really on the field, so you don't know whether he's going to be worth the shit or not when the pressure gets on his ass. But it, this is the kind of shit that ticks me off right here. So, so number one, K.J. Jefferson. I can kind of see that with K.J. Jefferson, but we all know K.J. Jefferson's not the best passer in the world. He lost a lot of weapons. We got to see what Arkansas has next year. Um, and they don't have Garrett Raleigh no more. They're, they have a whole brand new offense coordinator, whole scheme, whole everything. But they listed K.J. Jefferson as the number one quarterback. So I'm not really going to argue that one too much. Um, I can see K.J. Was, is a good quarterback. But there's no way I'm listing that man as the number one damn quarterback in the SEC. They're, they're, I, I can't see it till I, I see the offense that they're going to run over in uh in Arkansas, we, you know, I just it, it, it's not going to be the Garrett Raleigh offense. So how how does KJ Jefferson respond to that? And then they're going to run the ball because they got Rocket Sanders, They're probably the second best player on their team behind KJ. And then Will Rogers at number two. First, you don't know what Mississippi State's going to do on offense either because this ain't the part. The pirate, God bless the pirate, and uh, my condolences with his family. But no one knows what Mississippi State's now going to have as an offense. Is this really your prediction for 2023 that Royal Rogers is going to be the second best quarterback in the SEC? Ah, it's hard for me to believe. Hard for me to believe. So we go down to number three. Ah, I get this, but I don't get this. They just throw Georgia's quarterbacks. They don't name a quarterback. They don't talk about a quarterback. You don't know who the quarterback is going to be. It's just Georgia's quarterback is automatically going to be the third best quarterback in the damn SEC. Who comes up with this bullshit? You don't know anything about Georgia's quarterbacks because they're rarely ever damn played. I mean, number three? Really? Really, number three. So we scroll down to number four, and same bullshit. Alabama's quarterbacks will be the number four best quarterbacks. But they can't tell you who's going to be the quarterback. They just put Alabama quarterbacks. How do you tell me that Alabama's quarterback is going to be number four best quarterback in the SEC when you can't even tell me who the hell Alabama's quarterback is going to be? I mean, th th this article right here is bullshit. It's total bullshit. You can't, I mean, I've never seen such horse shit in my life. Hey. Number five, Jaden Daniels. Disrespect for Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels had a good year last year. LSU won the West, made it to the SEC Championship. Um, he had his ups and downs. But, yeah, I can see him being in the top five, but to be fifth behind Georgia's quarterbacks and Alabama's quarterbacks when you don't even know who the hell they got for a quarterback, very disrespectful to these guys, for real. And you got Will Rogers ahead of him, who – we don't even know what Mississippi State's offense is going to look like. So number six, they have listed Overthrow Joe for Tennessee. Overthrow Joe. He's probably going to put up some good numbers because they're going to play some bad defenses. 
and uh, with a hype the hyperdrive offense, Mr. Donut Chin Man himself. Uh, yeah, I can see Joe Milton putting up some good numbers, and he'll probably be in the top five, but he still won't be the fifth best quarterback in the SEC. There's, there's, there, there's, he, he's not six, and he's not going to be in the top five. As far as like, if you look at an overall quarterback, what's his draft stock going to be? Nobody wants that guy. I mean, he, he, he couldn't even start. Now, this is another one that pisses me off. Automatically, Devin Leary in his first year in the SEC, coming from NC State, they got him listed as the number seven quarterback in the SEC. Devin Leary, has has he played an SEC defense? If he has, maybe once a year. Has he run that gauntlet? Has he played that schedule every year? No, it's bullshit. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on Devin Leary right now. He's back with the new, old, old, new damn offensive coordinator. He plays for Mark Stupid. So, good luck with that, Devin Leary. We'll see how it ends. When these big SEC defensive people are hitting your ass every week. Let's see how you hold up. Number eight, Robbie Ashford. Now, I don't know about y'all, but Auburn was pretty awful last year, and I watched this kid play. He's not that great. He's number eight in the SEC as far as quarterbacks. And here we go with my man Spence. They have Spencer Rattler as the number nine quarterback in the SEC. Now I get Spence didn't start off too hot last year, but he ended the, he ended the year winning some games, playing great, you know, not throwing interceptions, not fumbling too bad. But that that it is total disrespect. I swear to Christ that you can put teams up there and you just call a quarterback, not even a quarterback name. And then say some horse shit about it's a system that has nothing to do with the quarterback itself. How do you rank a quarterback and say it's just because the system's going to be good that the quarterbacks in that system is going to be good? That's the biggest bunch of horse shit I've ever listened to in my life. So I, I, I'm calling bullshit on this article. And, and it pisses me off. I swear. Jackson Dart's all the way down at number 10. I thought Jackson Dart was a good quarterback, played hard last year, made some mistakes. He was a young guy, new into the system, first year. You're going to make mistakes. It's the SEC, brother. Ain't nobody down here. Uh, you ain't wearing no diapers, no panties, no nothing if you're going to play in the SEC. You better get ready to get hit, and you better get ready to get hit hard. So, scrolling on down, they have A.J. Swan at Vanderbilt as number 11. Well, I don't even know who A.J. Swan is. I knew who Mike Wright was, but he ain't at Vanderbilt no more. So I guess A.J. Swan is number 11. Can't argue it because I don't even know who the hell he is. Honestly, I don't. Don't. Graham Mertz, 12th. Poor Florida. Poor, poor, poor Gator. I'm sorry, Florida, but if your quarterback is ranked behind the quarterback at Vanderbilt, uh, my my heart goes out to you i mean that's that's poverty i mean seriously florida man that that's true poverty and then behind that you got what one other scholarship quarterback hmm. hope the transfer portal's kind until you have spring practice there florida that's all i can tell you uh texas a m texas a m texas a m is so bad and Jimbo's offense was so bad. And this is how SI thinks about Bobby Petrino's offense or Jimbo, whatever the hell you want to say, whose offense is going to be what. Because Jim, I, I just came. Jimbo did another one of those dumbass interviews where they're talking to him after their spring game. And he's like, um, yeah, I trust Bobby. And uh, yeah, he's going to call the play. It, it was so fake. And it was so, and I'm sorry, I can't speak as fast as Jimbo, but it was so fake in what he said. Like, I almost got a bet. Texas ain't him. I feel bad for y'all, man. I really do. I mean, it, it, it's... Y'all need to get rid of Jimbo. I ain't gonna lie. And then they got Brady Cook down here at number 14 in Missouri. Now, Brady Cook had some pretty decent games last year, and then he had some horrible games. Missouri has a good defense, but they ain't got nothing to do with the quarterback ranking. But Brady Cook in Missouri is ranked the very damn last quarterback. In the SEC, according to Sports Illustrated, behind unnamed quarterbacks, and 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 
behind quarterbacks that never played in the SEC before. Hey, I, I don't know about this damn Sports Illustrated quarterback, way too early quarterback ring or whatever they're saying. But I can tell you this, y'all better fear the damn Rattler. Spencer Rattler will have a breakout year this year, and he's going to finish in the top five quarterbacks in the SEC if he doesn't finish top, top dog. So this disrespect bullshit y'all got going on, I, you don't even know what our offense is going to look like this year because, hell, I don't know. But I know we're going to open it up. We got some good wide receivers. We got good tight ends. So, okay, y'all keep disrespecting my man Rattler. I'm going to tell you what you better do. Fear the Rattler. And that's what Rooster Man got to say. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all you guys coming to hang out with me, watch my videos. Uh, and and that's that's going in my rant today. But I, uh, Sports Illustrated, don't ever put out way too early if you don't have no clue what the hell you talking about. Peace.